Fresh air and clean water are required to produce mushroom extracts. A constant supply of air and water must be ensured for high quality extracts. Both need to be purified before coming in contact with the mushrooms. Our modern systems guarantee the required standards. The first step in the extraction process is to fill the extraction tanks with mushroom pulp. This is done by a filler tube from above. 250 to 500 kilograms of milled mushrooms are needed for one single extraction process. The whole extraction process is carried out in a GMP environment. GMP stands for Good Manufacturing Practice and entails guidelines for the assurance of quality in production environments and processes. These guidelines are issued by state authorities. The milled mushrooms fall into the extraction tank from above and gather at the bottom. The tank is now filled with purified water. The ratio between water and milled mushrooms is 10 to 1. The milled mushrooms then soak and slowly macerate. The extraction tank is then gently heated to 90 degrees Celsius. The water begins to boil. The small mushroom grains swirl around in the water, releasing treasured ingredients. The release of their components turns the water brown. This can be compared to the infusion of tea. Depending on the desired concentration of the extract and the type of mushroom, this process can be repeated several times and last up to five to eight hours. The mushroom's most important ingredients, the polysaccharides, are locked in place by protein and chitin structures. Not even the finest grinding can break up these structures. This is only possible through the process of extraction. Simply formulated, boiling the chitin and protein structures gradually dissolves them. The polysaccharides are released and now become available. The remainder of the milled mushroom material is sieved and stored as waste product. The extracted brown liquid, which is full of valued ingredients, is now emptied from the tank. In the next step, the extracted liquid is filled into a vacuum evaporator. Then the vacuum evaporator is heated. Thanks to the vacuum, the liquid begins to evaporate at low temperature. The emerging vapor is discharged through a relief valve. As more and more of the water evaporates, an even thicker and darker substance remains. At the end of this process, only about 10% of the original volume of extraction liquid remains in the vacuum evaporator. This concentrated sludge is now pressed into the spray dryer in the form of tiny droplets. Hot air is additionally blown into the spray dryer. The hot air causes the droplets to whirl around in the tank, further drying them. The dried remainders of those droplets trickle down. They gather at the bottom of the tank as dried mushroom extract powder. The mushroom extract is now filled into containers through a valve at the bottom of the tank. These containers are then prepared for shipping. This is done in the hygiene production area under GMP conditions. The containers are shipped to Germany, arriving four to six weeks later. Mushroom extracts are very different from mushroom powder regarding the concentration of their most important components. The amount of raw material used is considerable. 100 kilograms of freshly harvested mushrooms yield 10 kilograms of dried mushrooms or mushroom powder. 100 kilograms of freshly harvested mushrooms yield only one kilo of extract. Mushroom extracts, therefore, are very high quality products. And last but not least, the waste product of the extraction process, the pieces of mushroom that did not dissolve and are left over, are used by the farmers to fertilize their fields. Thus, the circle is complete.